I am Anil Kumar and in this particular video we will kind of do reverse operation. We know that the derivative of exponential function e to the power of x is e to the power of x will find limits from that derivative. So first what we will do is we know that the derivative of e to the power of x with respect to x is e to the power of x. We will try to find limit of when h approaches 0, limit of uh, e to the power of h minus 1 over a. So that is what we will try to find in this particular video from the very basic definition of derivatives. Okay, so let's explore this definition. Whenever we say derivative of a function, then we know derivative could be written as uh, in the form of limits. How do you define derivatives? So we'll say derivatives of any function is basically is equals to the limit of the function as h approaches 0 for f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So that is the definition which will help us to get the result. Now with that kind of a hint, I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Okay, so let's begin how to solve this. So we have derivative of e to the power of x, we know is e to the power of x and this derivative could be written in the definition form for the limit as limit h approaches 0. Function is e to the power of x, so we could write this as e to the power of x plus h minus e to the power of x over h, right? Where h approaches 0, right? So that is the derivative. And we know this derivative is actually equal to e to the power of x. So this is what we know. So derivative of e to the power of x is e to the power of x. And this derivative could be written by the definition as limit approaching h for e to the power of x plus h minus e to the power of x over now from the left side, we can take e to the power of x common. So what do we get? We get limit h approaches 0, e to the power of x. And uh, what we get here is e to the power of h minus 1 over h, right? And all this we know is equal to e to the power of x. Now we are considering h approaching 0. This is independent of h, so we can factor it out. So we could write this as e to the power of x limit h approaches 0 for e to the power of h minus 1 over h. And we know this is equals to e to the power of x. And now from here, we know what this limit is, right? We can divide e to the power of x by e to the power of x and we get our result, which is limit h approaches 0 for e to the power of h minus 1 over h is in, indeed equals to e to the power of x divided by this, which is 1, correct? So we get our answer that this limit is equal to 1. So this is equal to 1. That is how we can solve such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.